Welcome to the Simple Manage YouTube channel. Today, we are delighted to bring you the walkthrough of our latest kit, the Weekender. Okay, you guys have been asking for a kit for these little vans behind me here. And we have been working on this for six months now, tried a million different configurations, and we have found the perfect one to fit in the short ones, the L1 and the long ones, the three seat ones and two seat ones, all of these variations. We have one kit to offer you now with a couple of different options. Si vous voulez regarder cette vidéo en français, vous pouvez cliquer là. If this is your first time on our channel, Simple Vans is here to bring you camper van kits in kit form so you can quickly and easily build your own camper van and get on the road on the adventures. Let's get into the Weekender. We have optimized it for the Kangoo, the Mercedes, all of these variants of, of van from 2007. The same with the Berlingo partner over there, that's from 2008. And this lovely Dacia here also represents the latest Nissan, the latest Kangoo, the latest Mercedes, which drops from 2018 through to 2021. So we have all the latest vans. We also have the latest Berlingo model, but he isn't with us today. And let's get in and see the details of what you get in the Weekender. So with the Weekender, we took time to go really right back to the start of everything. We thought, what do you actually need in a small camper van like this? Because space is so little, you need only the essentials. So we brought it down to a bed, we brought it down to some storage, and then the extra options that we would add on top are space for a cool box, space for water, and a power solution. So we wanted to bring these to everyone in one kit so you can grow with your kit and add on the extras. And we wanted this kit to fit in every one of these small vans from three seat vans to the longer wheelbase ones as well. So there is one kit that fits everything now, and this took a long time for us to figure out all these little details. Okay, getting into the components, the bed, we have the redesigned bed, which we've launched this year, and this actually made it possible to bring it right to the back. You look how close this is to the back of the van. We are really using every inch in the L1 version of the Berlingo, the Partner, the Kangoo, um, to get the maximum bed. This gives a 160 bed. So we took part of the bed that we had already as this Lee Pen system, this sliding bed system, just transforms the space so quickly and easily while you still keep all of the storage underneath. But with the limitation of the length of 160, we had to redesign a new module to go at the other end of this. We'll come to that in a moment, but right now, we still have all of the beautiful storage space which you get. And obviously with this new design of the bed, we have the option of the drawers. But if you would like to ski or snowboard, or put your fishing rods, we have the space under and through the bed all the way through. So to make use out of all of this space, we decided that we needed a space for the cool box. We decided it's better to keep it integrated into the van in the back instead of moving it from the back to the front always, because when it's fully loaded with food, they do actually weigh quite a bit. So we have this space under here, which is where you can put the cool box. This little unit on the side, this took a little while to get going in the bottom, there is space here to get 12 liter water tanks. And that we think is best that you have a shower head linked in which you remove elsewhere. Little bit of storage on the top, which again, you are able to open when the mattress is out so you have full use. We decided to not bring the storage up higher here just to give a sense of space because they are small inside these vans and you don't need everything. Our optional extras like the D1 can be put up here or on this side just to give you a tiny bit more space if you'd like those. Okay, right now I'm gonna show you inside this Dacia Doka. This is also the new Kangoo model, the new Nissan model, the new Mercedes. This is a brilliant van and what they've done with this one is actually make it a little bit longer than the Kangoo and the Berlingo. So in here, you can see that the bed still comes right to the back of the van, but we've managed to get with an extension between the two parts of the bed, we have a 170 bed, and this is still an L1, a small van, okay? And you have a 170 bed, that's, that's really roomy. So you can see between these units here, we just have a tiny bit of extra wood that represents seven centimeters that gets put in here. So this comes with every kit, so you can make it a little bit longer. This is also a two place, a two seater car, as you can see here. So you also have the options to move them forward. That is also an option in the Partner and the Berlingo. The two cars that we have here, they are three seaters and the seat on this side, the two seat seat is fixed. So you have to have a 160 bed. 
So this extension just adds more options to the same kit fitting every van. So we managed to get a pretty generous bed inside these tiny vans while still keeping storage on the side. So this is a 170 due to the extension and 112 wide. That is plenty for a couple. And even for a taller guy like me, I'm 183 tall. I just sleep diagonally. And actually it's really roomy and spacious. So I love that. The little unit on the side is perfect place. You can chuck your battery when you need it and then charge it up on the, on the drive when you're going around. And again, you have access to your storage here. So you can just grab those little things while the bed is out. Um, another feature I'm going to run around that side and show you that I love is the drawer on this one. So again, when you're in bed mode, you need to be able to access your things here. So with this drawer, it's just an easy way to get all of your things under the bed. Okay, so talking about accessing things while the bed is out, we do have a little door here. So if you're using this for your cool box, or if you're using this for storage, you can have access while the bed is still out. So if one of you is lounging around in the morning, the other one can still make a cup of coffee. There's no excuses. Little things that you may not know about is if you want to get out of the side door, you need to be able to put your feet somewhere as you're coming out. So we've left these little spaces in between units that may seem unthought about, but it's not. We've had our time in vans. The details matter. Okay, so before you guys say, where is the table? Okay, this is one of these things we took a while deliberating about. Here, I'm nice and comfortable. I have space, it's beautiful. But in here, I'm a little cramped, you know? It's okay to make yourself a little sandwich or something, but why do I want a table here to sit at my laptop? No, 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 no. In a little van, you're gonna go outside. And in a little van, you're here for short times to go out and have a beautiful time outside. So that's why we decided no table before you ask your questions. So that's a wrap on the Weekender kit. We are really proud of everything we've managed to pack into these tiny little vans and the fact that it's one kit that does all the vans from small L1 up to the L2 versions. Um, if you want to find out more about this kit, check out the description below. This kit, obviously, like all of our units, gets shipped out in boxes straight to your door and you can put this one together in just a day. So you can really quickly build yourself a quality camper van. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with some friends. Maybe they'll be inspired by this build to join you on your adventures.